Hey guys, so I just got ready this morning and I'm about to make myself some much needed coffee. And then I thought I'd show you uh, some of the projects that I am working on right now and have been over several months. So I've got quite a few different projects going on and I don't know how it's with you. I'm not really good at starting making, finishing a project all at once. I always tend to uh, leave it for a bit, maybe even several months and then pick it up again and then leave it again because uh, I don't know how it is with you but if I'm feeling creative and I get ideas in my head I always have this urge to make it right away and then if I'm working on a pro other project at that time I'm just going to leave it and start a new one and that's how I have a lot of different projects going on all at once and I thought maybe it would be fun to show you today uh, all the things that I've got going on and maybe work on some of them, trying to finish them and I'd love to know what are you, team finish right away or team work on it, leave it, work on it, leave it, let me know in the comments. So this is the first project that I want to show you. I drew this on Procreate on my iPad months ago and I had the idea to make a more painterly like um, punch needle piece uh, that I made on a square canvas. So I drew this first and then, well, as you can see, these kind of details are not really possible in punch needle, but I thought I would make the loops on the front for these and then make these petals and so on and I've been working on it a few months ago now let me just take the piece so here it is and yeah I think um, it looks kind of nice uh, at first I thought, oh, those petals are not going to work, but then I started making the background and by putting in the loops in between, it was actually fine. So I punched the whole thing from the back, except for the leaves here. Let's just see the original and then this piece. But I was struggling with the uh, middle part. I didn't really know which colors to use, so first I made these, then I cut some, and I also made used some other yarn as well. And then I thought, no, it's it's too... I didn't really like it. I wanted to be more of a, a color that would pop more. So then I uh, made this one, but I, as you can see, I have to go back and fill it in much more because this is not uh, filled up really well but yeah I started it and I have to do more because I still have to make uh, this one maybe not sure if I will uh, but I think it will be kind of nice when it's done and I'm sure some of you might think this one is the better option but I like the fresh spring-like color of this one. So, and unfortunately this color is unavailable to purchase at the moment and I don't have any more. So this project will have to wait. Let me just, yeah, here you can see I drew in this one as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be a cool piece once it's finished, but it will need quite some work still. So, and then I have a few pieces that I finished punching, like this one. But they still have to be sewn into pillows or something. So I remember uh, this one was quite popular when I posted it on Instagram. I made this without making a design first. I just started punching and this came out. It's a pretty cool piece with all these circular motions and cool textures. This yarn is so 
amazing. So and in the meantime we hear some sirens but that's how it goes. So I've got this one which should be made into a pillow and I have also shown you this one before on Instagram so if you're there then you may have seen it. This is from a while back. This was when I was really just also winging it and I really felt like just punching something fun and that's when I made these fern leaves yeah I think this is also a pretty cool piece and it would be nice as a pillow but so with me it's always the sewing part that is going to break up the project so I like to punch but then when it comes to sewing these pillows I kind of hate it so I don't do it um, and then it just ends up in this cupboard and it's never seen again so I think it's nice that I can show you some of these pieces now <laughs> they get some daylight oh this plant is not doing so well also have this one so yeah this is also just a bit of a random piece but I think it would be a nice pillow so who knows maybe in the future I will sew this up and then I will put them up in the shop and you can get them so if you're interested let me know that might be a good motivation for me to start sewing some but besides punch needle, I also like to work on other things fiber uh, related. So a while back I was looking at a lot of uh, Instagram accounts that have uh, embroidery and I really love it. It just seems so small to me and so slow that uh, I was always hesitant to try it. But then I did a few months back and I'll show you. So this is a piece that I started on, uh, on a square, square canvas and it's really loose, so it's not really well done, but um, yeah, I started making these circles that I also tend to make with punch needle. I really love these colors together and I did the satin stitch as you can see right here and I really like the way that it looks but it's taking a long time and I, I don't mind, but yeah, I, I really want to uh, go on with this piece, but it's maybe a bit of a, a large piece to start with embroidery, maybe. And then I have this kit from We Are Knitters. It's really kind of nice to not have to think about the design for once and just do what I'm told. Uh, it's kind of relaxing and I've been knitting. I did some knitting back uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter, uh, which is like nine years ago now. Um, but I first, uh, it's the first time I started making a garment for myself. So this is going to be a sweater and it's a really nice uh, wool with a yeah, thick and thin wool. So you get this kind of fun structure and I'm getting along nicely now so I made this and I'm working on the second sleeve now so I still have to attach the sleeves but I think it's going to be cool. Welcome in my living room this is where I have my largest piece to date and uh, this is a weaving that I've been working on for almost a year now. It's uh, kind of my uh, lockdown piece piece that I started during the lockdown in April, I think it was, and I've been working on it ever since. Always tiny pieces, bits and pieces, and then I leave it for a bit and then I go on a few weeks later. So this is a clothing rack from Ikea that I hacked into a weaving loom. I attached some wooden boards and then I put in a lot of these nails and then I could warp it like a normal frame loom. It works really well, so that's a good hack maybe. Yeah, I started working on this middle area first, first with some dark colors and then as the sun started shining I added more and more 
bright colors. I really was in need of something fun and bright at the time. This project was really a journey from last year till, uh, till now. I still have to finish this area right here and I'm going to finish it with all this fringe uh, that you can see right here and then um, yeah, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with the top part, I'm not sure yet. that was it for my ongoing projects i really hope you like seeing them um so for next week i'm planning to make a small basket uh, which is going to be made with punch needle and i want to store my yarn in it and i think i'm going to make it into a full tutorial so not really a vlog style video like this one but really a tutorial and uh, i really hope you like this video so if you want to see the next one don't forget to subscribe and please leave a like that really helps me with the algorithm and stuff so that would be really great to see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.